So Marco Gomes uh, from Mercer in Portugal uh, sent me a list of questions and asked me to record my answers to them for a meeting uh, he had with a company that is about to engage in an agile transformation. So um, I thought as long as I'm making that recording, it might be more useful for a bra uh, other sets of folks who are also going through this process or thinking about going through it. So I'm posting it here as well. So the first question, how hard can it be to implement an agile model in a company where the old model was more hierarchical and conservative? Well, it can be extremely uh, challenging if only part of the organization is interested in making the change. If the rest of the company is expecting detailed plans and delivery day commitments, and the product development team is working in a more iterative approach that will create a lot of organizational friction. For any agile transformation to be successful, the whole company has to be supportive and committed. Um, I don't think company hierarchy is necessarily an impediment to a successful agile transformation, as long as the responsibilities and expectation of the leadership team adapt to the new way of working and that the company leadership is also committed to that agile transformation. Many organizations with much with traditional hierarchies uh, build their product successfully with agile methodologies. The next question, what would your advice for this team uh, to succeed on implementing the model? What should they be aware of? Basically the do's and don'ts. So I would say do uh, commit to making the transformation and understand that it won't be easy. This will be a culture change for your company. Any culture change follows a path uh, where the excitement of making the change right, uh, is followed by a period where individuals and teams struggle to understand how to be productive in this new way of working. During this time, and it's sometimes called uh, the valley of despair uh, or the pit of despair, it seems like the best idea would be to, to go back to the way things used to be. But push through this time and don't give up. Bit by bit, things will improve. Um, people will figure out how to operate in the new world, and you end up in a, in a much better place. One of the ways that teams make the transition to Agile is to use uh, a known structured methodology like Scrum. At first, the processes and ceremonies will feel strange um, and not what you thought Agile was supposed to be like, but you stick with it. As your teams get better at Agile thinking, you can start to decide which elements make sense for you and which you may want to ad adapt or drop altogether. Each of these things has a purpose and understanding the purpose and the value when it works well is important before you decide not to do it. Teams that abandon the parts of the process that they don't like early on often end up with a, a poor understanding of Agile where they gain very few of the benefits and, and may be a lot less efficient. The next question what are the foundational measures they should follow, in, in my opinion? Uh, like any organizational culture transformation, there should be some time spent by the whole organization understanding why there is a need to make the change, what the expected outcome from the change is, and what the plan is. Time should be spent to make sure that all parts of the organization, especially the teams dependent on the team making the change, are committed. If there's a smaller team that is mostly independent from the rest of the organization, then it might be beneficial for that team to pilot working Agile first. Uh, next question is, what should uh, the teams making a change anticipate to, uh, to succeed? I would say anticipate that this may be a longer process than they expected, but the effort is worth it. Anticipate that the change may be too big for some of the people on the team to make and they may choose to leave the, the organization or try to prevent the change from happening. Anticipate though that it will get progressively easier over time. Uh, other relevant points that the team might find useful. So I will say that I have been working uh, Agile exclusively for almost 20 years. After having spent the first eight years of my career working in a much more traditional uh, way, the reason that I've continued to work agile is that I've seen no better way to deliver software efficiently. I am inherently pro uh, pragmatic. If I saw a better way to work, I would switch immediately. 
no such way have I found thus far. The hardest part of adopting Agile is learning the Agile mindset and understanding that it doesn't mean abandoning quality, accountability, documentation, process, planning, or tracking to deliverables. It's about finding the right amount of each of those things for the project and no more. In the end, though, adopting Agile is about adopting a culture of continuous improvement, a culture of always looking for better ways of doing what you do all, every day. And if you can get to that point, it's an incredible place to be, and it's a great way to work, which is why I've worked that way for so long. I hope you can get there, and I wish you the best of luck on your journey.